Okay, hello everyone and welcome to this new MongoDB tutorial video. In this video, we're going to discuss specifically deleting data. So throughout a series of videos, we've discussed the different CRUD operations that we can perform with MongoDB. We started by learning exactly what MongoDB is and how the data is structured. Then we learned how to create our first database and create our first data in general. Then we learned how to update data and now we're going to learn how to delete. We will be learning the read at the end of these tutorials. So to get started, this is in front of so to get started, in front of me I have MongoDB Compass. So if you're familiar with it, if you've seen a previous video of mine, you know that MongoDB Compass is a it's the GUI for MongoDB in which you can visually explore and see your data. And I have MongoDB Shell, which is the command line client for MongoDB. We're using Shell because we're learning the MongoDB commands that we will use for these CRUD operations, and we have to do those through the shell. In MongoDB Compass, everything is visual, so everything is done manually. So if you want to edit or delete data, you simply have to press a delete button. There is no actual coding involved. So to get started, I'm just going to connect to a previous connection, which is my local host. So this data is stored on my machine only, not on any cloud or any server. So I'm going to go to my database, which has a series of uh, different collections about different types of things. And this is essentially what I usually use for samples. So we're going to talk about delete today. So how do we delete data? How do we delete columns? How do we delete, no, I'm sorry, not columns, documents? How do we delete everything? So this is an integral part of having a database and using it. Okay, to get started, we're going to actually go to a um, sample database. Let's go to one, um, let's say, person, okay, person has two documents, and we have Jane Doe and we have John Smith. So how does delete really work? Let me just type it out for you. So delete works with one of three commands. So we have delete one, we have delete many, and we have remove. So if you've seen my previous video on update, or if you are familiar with update in general, you know that it's pretty similar because update has update one and update many. So it's essentially the same thing. It's very intuitive. Delete one would uh, delete one document, delete many would delete many documents, and remove is generic. So it can delete one or many, or it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to demo all three of these, and you're going to learn exactly how you have to structure the syntax in order to be able to delete stuff from your database. So we're going to start with delete one. So with as with any different uh, MongoDB um, command, so we have to say db.collection name, so here it's person, and then we say what we want to do. So we want to delete one. Now this takes one argument. So in the update, we would have two arguments. We would have one matching function, so I want to match so let's say I want to delete all documents that have the first name as Jane. And then the other part, um, an update, the other part would be how we want to update it. Here we just have to specify the matching. So we want to see what type of documents we want to delete. So I want to delete all documents that have the name of Jane. I want to delete all documents with age of zero, something like that. So to do that, it's fairly straightforward. So here I have to specify a condition in the standard MongoDB document format. So it has to be a series of key value pairs within curly braces, standard MongoDB document. So how do I delete? I want to delete all people, or I delete one, I'm sorry. Delete one with the name Jane. So it's fairly simple. All I have to do is say first name is, is Jane. And then I close. So if I enter, I get an acknowledged and deleted is zero. So if you can guess why I messed up here and why I didn't get to delete anything, this is because I'm not using our current database. So I have to say use my database. So that was a mistake on my part, but it's important to learn that you have to use this database before you even try to delete or update any certain data or perform any operations on this um, certain data. So use my database. Now that we have that, we can perform uh, the previous command. And it says deleted is one. So now if I go back to my compass where we're visualizing our data and I refresh, 
So you can see that the document with first name is Jane has been removed. So now that we see that, I, we have to understand exactly how these conditions work. So like we said, conditions are a series of conditions, key value pairs. So we can combine more than one co condition by saying uh, first name is John and then last name name is Smith. And we close it. So this is a series of key value pairs and we're here. We're forcing MongoDB that we want these two conditions. So this is like an and between these two conditions. So we enter and another one has been deleted. So now this collection is empty. So we'll move on to another collection so that we can demo the other commands. So if we go to people, so people here is also pretty basic, straightforward, three different people, three data, Jane, John, and Mark. So let's see. So we want to delete many here. How do I, so how do I delete multiple documents? How do I delete um, many documents? So, you know, let's actually add more data here. So let's add uh, manually a document. So I want name as Jane and you'll see why in a minute. So if I insert this, so now here I want to delete many documents with the name Jane. So I want to delete both of these. How do I do so? So how do I do it? Okay, so db.people, we have to use the name of the collection, dot delete many. And here I specify first name is Jane, or no, it's name actually. Name is Jane. All right, true deleted count is two. So if we check here, we see that both of them have been deleted. So another uh, type of way that we can use delete many. What if I want to delete all the documents in a certain collection? Like I'm sick of this collection. I don't want it anymore. I want to delete everything within it. How do I do so? Also fairly simple. So it's db.people.delete many. And what is my condition in this case? We have no condition. I want to process and delete all of these documents. So there you go. And you enter. And this is how you can see that you deleted two because that's what we had in the uh, collection. And now this collection is empty. So as you can see, it's fairly straightforward for now. So you just learned how to use delete one and delete many. Everything else is simply combining more conditions and kind of playing around with the condition part of the delete one and the delete many. So next on our list is the remove. So if we can go to products collection. So here we have this, uh, you could say, like intruder here. We have a product whose name is John and he even has a price. So we want to delete this product and we're going to do so using the remove function. So db dot product dot remove. And the way remove works is exactly the way delete one and delete many work. So all you have to do is specify a condition and we want the name to be John. And if we close it, all right, so number of removed, this is a different return statement in this case. The number of removed is one. So if we refresh and that document is now gone. So we're done with it. And we can even do, re so remove, we don't have to specify if we want to remove one or many. So here we removed one because it just, there was only one. So now if I want to remove, um, let's say, okay, I want to remove all documents that have term years as two. So there are two right here. So two, and this is term years as two. So I want to remove these documents. It's very simple again. So db dot product dot remove and you say term years is two. So here we can see it's actually an int. So it's not within, oops. So it's not within quotation marks. So that's why you should uh, realize that you have to write it the same way here. So if you put quotation marks, this will not match together because it would be looking for a string. That's just a side note. So remove these, enter number of removed three. Okay, so I guess there must have been, oh yeah, there, there's a third one with term years as two. So if we refresh, we now have five documents instead of eight. So we just removed every single document with term years is three. So now that you know how to delete um, different, now that you know how to delete these documents based on certain conditions or based on no conditions, because we learned that putting an empty curly brace 
would yield the deletion of all the documents in a certain collection. What do we do next? So this is just an extra piece. So you just learned the basics, the preliminaries. There is an extra one. And this one, let me just clear so everything is less ambiguous. The next one is find one and delete. So find one and delete also is similar to delete one, but there is a sorting option. There are actually a multitude of options here. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to sort by a certain variable and then delete the first one in ascending or descending order. So to clarify, just stay with me right here. So going to movies, this is a very huge sample document. It has sample collection. It has 46K documents. That is a lot. So first we can use find one and delete with no options. So it will do essentially the same thing as deleted one with a different return statement. So let's say db.movie.find one and delete. And we specify the condition to be, let's say IMDB ID to be one. So I am db id is one. And here we have quotation marks because this is a string. So now that we specified the condition, we enter. So here the return statement with this particular deleting function is that it returns the original function. This could be useful. So if you want to keep track of all the things you've deleted, probably using this would be a better idea than using the delete one or delete many um, uh, functions. So just keep that in mind. So this is how we just did the exact same thing. We did not utilize the sorting option. Let's just verify by refreshing. And we can see the first document has just disappeared. All right, so what's the next one that we're going to do? Next, we're going to sort by IMDB rating. And I want to sort it in ascending order. So how do we do that? So just to keep this in mind. All right, I'm just scrolling. Okay, to keep this in mind. We have a sort option, and this sort option is a second argument to the find one and delete function. So the first one is the condition, the way we just did it, and the second optional option, IMDB rating one. So what does this mean? So what does this part, this fragment right here, what does it mean? This means I want the find one and delete function to sort I am sort the documents by their IMDB ratings in ascending order. So from the smallest to the largest. If I say minus one, here I am saying I want to sort it by descending order, from the largest to the smallest. So that's how we're going to do it. So let's say I want db.movie.find one and and delete okay and we want a certain condition so let's say i want to um sort them by their imdb rating in ascending order and i want to delete the first one that has a um a let's see an a type of movies so type movie all right so this is my condition i'm going to sort by ascending order, and then I'm going to delete the first one I get. So ascending means the one with the smallest rating and has the type movie, and I want to delete it. So this is the first part, which is the condition. And then we say what we want to sort by. So IMDB rating by one, ascending order. We close, we enter. We get the original document that we just deleted. So this is the document. So it has an IMDb rating of 6.2, which means it was the smallest IMDb rating that we had when we sorted in ascending order. So the entire document, the first document that had movie and, and the smallest um, that had type of movie and the smallest IMDb rating was deleted. So just so there it is, refresh it. So that's pretty much it for today. You learned how to use the different deleting functions in MongoDB. So now you have added that to your CRUD toolkit. You are able to delete MongoDB documents according to certain conditions. If you're wondering how to delete certain fields within documents, this is not part of deletion, it's part of update. So if you're interested in that, you can go back to the update video. So thank you very much for watching. You can refer to this playlist for more info on MongoDB, or you can just watch this on its own because it doesn't really matter if you only want to learn deletions. 
So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next videos. If you're interested, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to learn about these complex, powerful MongoDB queries that we're going to cover next. So thank you.